hello and welcome to saving people queering things the super not <clears throat> the supernatural <laughs> the supernatural podcast where we're all british this episode well laddie comes out and sings a silly song <laughs> <laughs> don't tempt me i'll do this very good sky boy Hello, and welcome to Saving People, Queering Things, the supernatural podcast where Dean is gay Ken doll coded. Today, we're pulling up to season four with episode 17, It's a Terrible Life. I'm Noah. My pronouns are he, him. I'm Elena. My pronouns are she, they. And I'm Sam. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. It's been a while. I love this episode. This episode was so good. It's so lighthearted and friendly at the beginning. Oh, even though yeah. you know everything's wrong. Like the entire time you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah, you just you're like, you know that something is is amiss, and yet you're just like, I'm just here for the good for the good vibes. Yeah. It's, exactly. it's great. I love seeing yeah. the Winchesters in a, a calm environment. That's always good. Yeah. You know, calm environment with ghost hauntings. Uh, yeah. You as, know. as is par for the course. Right. Yeah. <laughs> as calm, calm as for it can what be. it is. All right. Now that you've met your host, it's time to catch you up. If you haven't watched Supernatural recently, here's what you missed on the road so far. First up, Elena's going to recap the show so far. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so Dean comes back from the dead because of this angel who's like totally gay for him. And then there's like this whole back to the future nonsense where they like go back and, you know, talk to his parents and he tries to save them, but he can't. And then they end up in this like noir movie and they deal with a bunch of weird monsters and like a ghost sickness. And then there's like this epic heaven and hell battle and Dean hooks up with an angel. And then he ends up getting like this male siren. And we're just like, Dean, why are you having such a gay crisis this season? But then he has to torture somebody and it really sucks. And he finds out that he's the one that basically started the apocalypse. And it's really sad. And then we're here. Damn, damn. And look at that. We're all caught up. That was amazing. Love that. I just try to hit as many episodes as I can. Yeah. Get the whole, the full spread in there. Indeed. 30 seconds. That was very impressive. But now it is time for Noah to recap this week's episode. Noah, my homeboy, are you prepared? I am. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Good. I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So Dean wakes up in a new life, acts like it's completely normal. He sells stocks or something. It's kind of unclear what he actually does, but basically he's a hard ass. He runs into Sam also there in the office. They end up being drawn to each other because of weird goings on in the office. They fight a ghost. Zachariah, the angel shows up, reveals it was all fake, just determined to show Sam and Dean that they were meant to be hunters and meant to live the life so they could stop the apocalypse. The end. Beautiful. That was amazing. You did it in less than 30 seconds. That rarely happens. I wrote it down in that some, I skipped a lot of parts, but um, it's fine. You got the essence of the episode, which is really what the recap is for, right? Hey, that's, that's what you need to know what to focus on. And that's really gay Dean in this episode. Indeed. It's truly the only thing we need yeah, to Yeah, the only on. thing worth talking about. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. It's going to be a good time. So now that we've recapped you on everything, it is time to pick some music to accompany us on our journey. We are collecting songs to create a season four mixtape, and this is what we have for this week. Noah, why don't you kick us off? Okay, I've got Good As It Gets by Little Hurt, which is a fun, angsty track about how I'm not who I used to be. And maybe, maybe I'm a mess. Maybe I'm depressed, but you know, we'll figure it out. Maybe this is as good as it gets, but mm. maybe not. Maybe I'm going to find myself on the way there. I love that. It fits, it fits for this episode. What about you, yeah. Elena? So my pick for this week um, is a very on the nose sort of name. It's a Who Am I by Vance Joy. <laughs> And I really like that because it's just, it's very much this song about like trying to figure out who you are. And this is an episode where like, I feel like the whole time Sam and Dean know that something is off, but they don't know what it is. And so they're like having this really deep, weird crisis, like of this feels wrong, but I don't know why. And I can't explain it. And so that just kind of had the same vibes for me. So. Oh yeah. Love that. Love you, Sam. My choice is You Won't Go It Alone by Andrew Gillespie. And I feel like this this song just fits for the show in general and just the brothers relationship. But I thought it was cool how even though they don't even when they don't know their brothers, they're still like they find each other and they're immediately hmm. there for each other and on the same team. Exactly. It's beautiful. That's sibling yeah. bond. Yeah. That's a really good point. Great songs this week. Wow. Ooh. Now that we've got our mixtape playing, it's time for the hunt of the week. Let's get the show on the road with today's episode, It's a Terrible Life, through the theme of grudges. 
where do you guys want to get started? There's so much to talk about in this episode. Well, I feel like even we don't usually start with the end, but like the reveal of it being like Zachariah. I feel like Dean's going to be holding a bit of a grudge, <laughs> both of them really, about this yeah. one, just because like, yo, literally threw us into a life that yeah, isn't ours. Right. Like, what the fuck? Straight up kidnapped them. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, hey, we're just going to deposit you into a life to which you do not belong. Hope that's okay. Have a good time. Yeah. Just for funsies. Yeah. Just, just to see how you do. to see how you'd react. Yeah, Zachariah really said, I'm going to put you guys in a workplace AU and see how it goes. And I just think that's unfair of him. Mm -hmm. Honestly. They're just playing with them. Yeah. But right off the bat, as soon as he walked in, Zachariah, I said, oh my God, know that guy. You know why? You know why? Why? Why not? Why do we know that guy? Because he's in psych. Of course he is. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like that, you know, recently August was asking us, like, what are phrases that we we say a lot on the podcast that we could turn into like stickers and things like that? And I feel like Ooh. because they're on psych needs to be one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Kurt Fuller showed up. I was there for it. I said, ooh, he's the bad guy. That's that's who <laughs> is doing all this for sure. Love him. Love his energy. Yeah. You just got such a fun, quirky vibe. I love it. I, I'm curious if you'll continue to say that about Zachariah, that he's got a fun, quirky vibe. Oh my I God. Mean, I okay. forgot that we don't know Zachariah yet. <laughs> yeah, same. I was like, oh. So, I, yeah, when like they, when he like snapped Dean out of it, I was, I was, because I had forgotten what happened mm-hmm. at the end. So I was like, yeah, Dean, be upset. And then he doesn't know who he is. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Yeah, I especially recently binging through the end of season four and season five, like going back and rewatching this. I was like, oh, oh crap. Yeah, that's they don't know who he is yet. No, but they will. I'm curious as a first time watching uh, Noah, what your reaction was to finding out that it was an angel that was pulling this all off. I mean, it kind of fits with yeah. the angel's whole vibes at the moment, you know, <laughs> doing some dumb stuff to force people into realizations that they don't necessarily need Mm. okay yeah it's a fair point very powerful too i mean we had had confirmation about you know okay uh, well let's compare it to the only other instance like this we've gotten which was uh when the trickster had Mm. them hidden up you know so i mean hey maybe that sheds a whole different light on who or what the trickster may be hint hint oh you have a theory there huh i know the trickster is so, uh, anyway, I know we know, but <laughs> we know, we know, but you're not supposed to know. You're not this whole episode, you know. It's, it's reminiscent of that. So, if this angel can do that, then <laughs> leads one to believe that perhaps logically speaking, mayhaps per chance. Yes, <laughs> I did like the little nod about their last names. Okay, so Sam and oh, Dean. I'm are, so glad you brought that up. They're in they're in this alternate world, and they have different last names to confuse them and so they've got sam wesson and dean smith smith and wesson is very very well known <laughs> gun company i don't know it's, they definitely would have That's used funny. plenty of plenty of that so i don't know it tracks that is one of my favorite like behind the scenes tidbits about this episode i don't know why it makes me like really giddy i'm just like that's so clever <laughs> like as a writer i'm just like you saw an opportunity and you seized it they do that so it, many <laughs> times it's it's i don't know every time i like it i like figuring out where the names came from yeah it's and it satisfying. was just it was a very good like it's one of those if you know you know where the payoff is just really good and like if you don't know it's fine like you still get through the episode it doesn't impede your viewing of it but if you do know it makes it this great great little easter egg especially because they have the line where they're like where do we even get a gun i don't know like a <laughs> gun store, a gun like, store? <laughs> okay. yeah maybe maybe think that one through a little bit better honey <laughs> just go tell them your grandpa made it you'll be fine yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really where uh, they get all of Dean gets all of his inherited wealth from. <laughs> yeah, being a well known gun family. <laughs> yeah. now, I do. Uh, I wanted to mention we. <laughs> so August was really sad that they weren't on this episode because they really like this one, and so we yeah, got, they do. We got a text from them earlier, and they're just like, "You got to do me proud since I'm not in this one." Gay Dean in the AU with his latte and salads and fashion in general. 
<laughs> so yes. First thing he's talking about is Project Runway. <laughs> I mean, hey, no shade. I love it. I'm there for it. But the Dean we see doesn't talk about that. Like, right? it's, like it's so interesting to see Dean's queer coding showing in a universe that does not involve John Winchester. Yeah. Like the ways in which it manifests is a lot more oh, on the nose. Yes. Him being allowed to be more free as a young person and exploring more options changed his whole interests as an adult. And that's gorgeous. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he's into health foods and doing like, you know, detoxes yeah. and cleanses yeah. and, yeah. you know, taking care of his body. To totally tackle. allowed to be who he <laughs> wants mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. And even just like in the like one of the be very beginning scenes in the car where it's like this like nice music and then he turns on his car and it's like the rock music and he like makes a face and turns it off. <laughs> It's like, oh, sweetheart. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. So there's some so, differences there. So so something's going on here. Mm -hmm. And I do, as we mentioned in the thing at the beginning of the episode, the fact that his outfit is directly based off of a Ken doll, like businessman outfit, <laughs> just it takes me out it's every single time. It's uh, basically a replica. He is. He's a yeah. little Ken doll. I like every scene with him and Sam in the elevator. Just gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> it, it feels like Sam is just staring at him the whole time, staring mm -hmm. into his soul. And Dean is like, whoa, bro, chill. Well, I mean, he is. Yeah, it's great. Just staring at him. Yeah, he's like, I see you, Dean. I know, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is the theme being grudges. It's kind of weird to see both Sam and Dean operating in a life where a lot of the grudges that they do hold typically are not present. Mm. I feel like they both typically have a lot of grudges about their dad and their upbringing and all these like horrible things that they've had to go through. And it's kind of it's kind of cool to like look at an episode through that lens when like that's something that is removed from both of their characters in a big way. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I had a hard time coming up with examples of yeah. grudges this episode because of the, that reason. They don't have a lot of those. I feel like the largest example was uh, Ian, Sam's office mate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah cubicle buddy he seems to hold grudges against the higher ups and you know the system oh yeah the way that it works sam doesn't have those same grudges in place but probably because he's more out of his element and is just less familiar with the way this stuff works and he if he'd spent more time he'd probably develop more grudges against that but yeah if if sam winchester had to be stuck in capitalism for a while i'm sure he'd come to hate it as much as the rest of us oh yes <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I loved being able to see the ghost facers again. They looked up <laughs> so oh old ghost gosh. hunters as soon as they said, wow, there's a ghost problem. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Ghost facer. I was thinking about that while watching and being like, I want to see Sam and Dean having a conversation about that. And being so upset. <laughs> yeah. Like a behind the scenes yes. when they realize yeah. like, oh, we like, actually listened to those guys. Why did we listen to those guys? I'm really disappointed How did that they we help only got us? to see Dean come out of the dream. And we didn't get to see him and Sam meet up outside of it, you know? Yeah, that's, you know, that is yeah. a weakness of the episode. Missed opportunity, really. They wanted to go for the dramatic moment, the dramatic ending with Zachariah, but at what cost? Yeah, somebody um, out there, please write that fanfic for us because we need it. Yes, we need it. Because I feel like that was just, I always forget that they're in this until I'm watching it and then I'm just like, oh, wild ghost facers appear. Like, I love when they just periodically will just make a cameo appearance, yeah. <laughs> appearances mm -hmm. in the show. It's so good. It's great. Yeah. And then making fun of the Winchesters. That kind of blew my mind. It, like, I was like, where <laughs> so are we? Good. What's happening? The Winchesters existed at some point, but they don't now. What? Where is it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I me mean, for a loop. like not to transition us or anything, but that is a pretty meta thing about the episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, before we go, though, I we need to talk about Dean's family. Okay. Oh my yes. God. Dean's, when he's talking about the people that he loves, his dad's name is Bob and his, his mom's his, name is Alan. His mom's, mom's name, name is Alan, Alan and his sister's name is Joe. Okay. Yeah. Crushed me. I was, where, where are they at though? Like, when was the last time we saw them? Um, oh. That was way back in season two. Not Bobby. Yeah. Bobby's been more recently, but Ellen and Joe, end of season two. Yeah. Yeah. It really has been a while since we've seen either Ellen or Joe. How are you going to mm -hmm. name drop them, but not have them show up? in the last two seasons yeah rude. sam's fiance madison getting a call to an animal hospital oh. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little bit of a dig but okay <laughs> oh uh, 
it yeah, was that was brutal. It was a good touch for the real connections that they have and establishing some family there. I'm curious to know Sam's parents' names in this world. Mm, yeah. Mm, what would they be? Yeah. Would they still be Mary and John? Different Mary and John? I don't know. No. I don't know. He's I feel like Bobby. Yeah. Mm. It, I think it makes sense that, that Dean had Bobby though. Yeah. 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 I it would have been funny if Sam had been like, whoa, my dad's also Bobby. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a parent trap moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was also born on October 11th. <laughs> like, it just becomes a whole thing. That would have been too good to be true. Now that we've wrapped up our main discussion, it is time to move into our going meta section where we are tracking lore, representation, behind the scenes trivia, and more. Rep check. Rep check. <laughs> Why do you say that now? It makes my day every time. It's good. It, it needs a little flair. Well, well, Dean's gay as hell in this episode, He's, for oh, starters. Oh, yeah. Beautifully gay. It's, it's great. Iconic. Iconic. He's doing wonders and living his life. And I love to see it. Yeah. I mean, we kind of already touched a bit on it in, in Maine, but what were you going to say, Sam? <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, uh, this is something that August had mentioned Oh, because they were excited about this episode, even though they're not on it. Yeah. August has many opinions about Dean in this episode. Oh, yes. They're very excited it is, about it. It is truly a shame. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame. But they were, but they were like, he, Dean doesn't like, he's not interested in any women this episode i mean there aren't really any mentioned it's not hinted at it's not but but usually even if it's like not like like even if there are no words there are like he always has like a look or like Mm -hmm. something or he does like a little like flirting flirting at somebody or right he's flirting with men this episode yeah yep like Mm -hmm. openly unashamedly it's beautiful multiple times like leaning against his desk and like giving like the smiles to like this co-worker of his like dean what are you doing honey like okay. i mean i'm here for it i'm excited don't get me wrong but it's just surprising yeah but it, and he seems like so like natural and comfortable in it too yeah it's like this is, is nice this is what we, we could have had it all guys yeah this is what it could have been come on yeah. we could have had dean openly enjoying project runway Ugh. In terms of uh, relationship dynamics, I think it's kind of interesting, like, seeing them both playing only children for once. Mm. And, like, seeing the way that they, like, get along and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it'd be really cool to have a brother. And it's like, mm, guys, mm-hmm. that's that's your whole thing. Is it, you know, yeah. That is your whole thing. Like, you know, oh. and just seeing them in a, a setting where they don't experience that is kind of, like, it's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was good seeing them feel a bond for each other and it was good. Mm-hmm. One of the less ideal representations was uh, Ian and his whole oh, demeanor. Yeah. Didn't didn't love that. Yeah. He said, I hope they spank me on the way to HR. Boy, you need to go. That's very yeah, much. That's, yes. Yeah, you you are clearly a walking HR nightmare. Oh need my to be, gosh. Need to be dismissed. <laughs> oh my god. Nightmare. Yeah. I mean, he didn't quite deserve that, but hey. Yeah, he didn't deserve like death, but you know, yeah. he he did deserve like you know some some bias training and you know sexual assault seminars. Um, mm-hmm. I think he would have benefited from those, having just se- done several of those at my own job. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Particularly, really sexist, creepy characters in Supernatural. Yeah, there are a lot of them. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, like there's no passing of the Bechdel test because there's just there's, no. Are there there's any, just none? Are there, there any women? In the background there are no no women characters or no women lines. speak either do they no no not at all which this None. i think that's that is a rare instance where it's so bad that literally there's not even any women who talk yeah like we don't usually fail the bechdel that badly yeah it's like a negative yeah negative, bechdel. <laughs> negative I did, didn't know we could get a negative score on the bechdel test but yeah. here we are <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Oh my goodness. Not a not a great move there. No. Real quick, the, we did have the line at the the end where Zachariah is telling he's talking to Dean and he says, You got daddy issues, right? I will stab you in your face, angel or not. Like, don't bring up my daddy issues. <laughs> uh, uh, he knows establish that early. Listen, on. angel boy. <laughs> that one was good. Yeah. You don't talk about Dean's daddy issues. <laughs> So get this, I was looking into the lore, and I mean, there's not a ton established in this one that's new. It's all just kind of, you know, learning the basics again. And I mean, besides the fact that 
Zachariah is an angel who is powerful enough to erase people's minds and create a new reality for them. Yeah, which you did kind of touch on in the main discussion. Yeah. That, like that's that is a power we've seen before from certain individuals. Now it's an angel doing so. Think about yeah. that. <laughs> I wonder what that could mean. <laughs> Besides that, there wasn't wasn't much lore established. I mean, no. I am curious, like if there was a particular, like I feel like this is one of those like August would know this things, but if there was a the building that was in it, oh, that like yeah. executive building, I don't know if that's like somewhere in downtown Vancouver or if that's just like we picked a random building and filmed it from the outside and that's it. <laughs> It seems more likely, but... It, it could be a bit of both. Yeah, so not really any location stuff, but... And we already also shared the behind the scenes that the outfit was literally directly based on a candle outfit. Which is which just I, such a good, such a I good just, touch. I, I just, that's one of those things that I'm just like, you supernatural writers, why, why are you guys? Just why? I did like the way that the, the color scheme changed the tone of the oh that's a really good point yes whenever Zachariah did his little tap on Dean's forehead yeah um, it was it was I'm curious to know what that looked like from Dean's perspective you know? oh. like this whole other life getting pulled out what's crazy is I had never taken the time to consider how Dean perceives that moment but holy crap yeah because right, like, like it, it comes across change? As like, yeah, it's like a moment that's for the viewers, but like Dean also seems like he's shocked into a different reality. Yeah, like it's probably not a pleasant experience either way, No, but it was instantaneous too. So uh, hmm. maybe, maybe he, his time in hell prepped him for stuff like that. I don't know. Hmm. Exhaustive mental gymnastics constantly. It's an intriguing theory yeah. for sure. Hmm. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. But a pin. Just not on the head of a pin because that was last episode. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, now we can move into our last and favorite part of the episode, our character blessings. Pick a little character from the episode where we appreciate something they did or something we saw in them. Elena, did you want to go first? Um, I just want to bless Queer Dean specifically um, because Baby Boy got to be himself this episode. It was really refreshing and nice. And I wish he got to do that more often. I hate that it took, you know, angels manipulating his life for him to be able to live his best life. But if that isn't a metaphor for Dean Winchester's life, I don't know what is. So blessings to Dean. So fair. I'm going to go ahead and bless Sam because he's uh, he's just trying his hardest to figure out what the fuck is going on in this episode. And he's having visions of uh, another reality that feels more real. And he's feeling like he doesn't fit in. And I don't know. <laughs> Which that's never happened to Sam Winchester before. Never. Sam feeling like he doesn't fit in. <laughs> Yet again. Oh, out of character. What a narrative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blessings for Sammy. Blessings to him in that struggle. Love it. Is there anything else that anyone wants to add? I'm, I'm, I'm good. This has been a lovely chat. Yeah. I enjoy this episode so much. This like I, so much I forgot how much I enjoyed it. Like this is one of those episodes that I feel like in first glance of like looking at the list of the episodes in the season, I'm like, oh, I'll probably skip that one because like there's no cast. And uh, but then I watch it and I'm like, oh no, this is this is a joy. <laughs> it's, it's good. So good. It's good every time. Their chemistry carries it. It's Mm-hmm. And if I may recommend the bloopers um, for season four, whenever we do finish season four, Noah, I encourage you to watch those because there's a okay. bunch of, okay. you mentioned loving the elevator scenes between them. There's a ton <laughs> oh my gosh, of goofy so elevator funny. bloopers from this episode specifically. <laughs> yes. Perfect. And they're really, Perfect. really great. So, so when any listeners that are like watching along and, you know, when you get caught up at the end of season four, watch that blooper reel because it is top tier. Yeah, yeah. perfect. The great the bloopers are one of my favorite like I sometimes forget that the bloopers are not part of the show because like <laughs> I quote the bloopers just as much as the show sometimes <laughs> yeah that's fair, yes, that's fair. I love like, that yeah all right so that's all for today make sure you are subscribed to saving people querying things wherever you listen to your podcasts you can find links to our social media and join our Discord server through our website, queeringthingspodcast.com. Be sure to ride along with us next week as we discover episode 18, The Monster at the End of This Book, through the theme of knowledge. Thank you all for coming along for the ride, and we wish you a peaceful road until we meet again.